Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of December 10th. So on December 12th, we have the Sagittarius new moon and Mercury also stations uh, retrograde on this day. Plus, it just so happens to be that all of this is happening on the 12th day of the 12th month. So we get that awesome uh, numerology code or angel number of 1212 all happening on the same day. So I'm going to break it down for us, but that energy, all that energy that's concentrated on the 12th day of the 12th month, we're going to feel it all through the week. Let's start with that Sagittarius new moon. So the new moon really has some beautiful energy around it. In particular, this energy is very healing. And it seems like whatever healing journey we have been on, we can fast track it under the power of this new moon. So you may find that you know, you've been dealing with some sort of health issue. You may find that you're moving faster towards a resolution. You may find that you feel a little bit more motivated to get to the root of things. You may find that you make some sudden quick progress that you've been hoping to make. There's this feeling of this healing energy kind of speeding up or that we're able to make a little bit more progress on our journey. And that comes from the energy of Mars that is active under this new moon along with Chiron. So Chiron brings that healing energy. Mars brings that motivation, that quickening, that speed up of progress. The thing with Mars, when Mars is involved, you have to be the one to take that first step. So if there is something you're looking to resolve or a healing journey that you're, that you're currently walking, you kind of have to be the one to take action. So if you're looking to make progress, if you want to tap into this energy, start with an action and then the universe will meet you there. So that could be just really tuning in and listening to your mind, body and soul. It could be going for that walk, exercising, you know, following whatever diet you need to follow, taking those supplements, whatever it is, you kind of have to be the proactive one. You have to take that first step to meet that energy and then the rest will kind of snowball from there. So beautiful, rapid, healing is on offer under this new moon, helping to boost our motivation as well around our healing journey. Also, this new moon has a beautiful adventurous spirit helping to kind of push us out of our comfort zone. So if a situation arises where you feel a little pushed out of your comfort zone, you know, maybe take it as an opportunity, maybe take it as a sign, maybe breathe in some of that adventurous, fiery, Sagittarian spirit and see if you can push yourself to, to take a leap of faith, to push yourself out of your comfort zone and see what happens. So if there's something you want to do or an opportunity that's presented itself that feels a little out of your comfort zone, maybe give it a try, maybe see how you go because that energy of that Sagittarius uh, moon will be supporting you. Also, as the last new moon of the year, it's a wonderful time to set intentions. Now, it might be tempting to want to start to set intentions for the next year. You know, we're just about to enter 2024, but I would really encourage you to focus on the weeks that we have left of this year. We have three weeks left in the year, and I think it would be a really powerful exercise to set an intention for each of those three weeks that we have left and fill those intentions with support and nourishment for all you have going on. This can be a very busy time of year. A lot of us are celebrating the holidays or traveling or we have extra commitments, family things going on. So a lot for us um, happening in this time of year. So set your intentions um, to be nourishing and supportive and to, be, to um, hold helpful reminders for whatever it is that you have going on at this time of year. And then of course, we get Mercury retrograde just in time for the holidays. Uh, I think Mercury was retrograde last holiday season, if I recall correctly, maybe the holiday season before that. It's happened before. We've had Mercury retrograde plenty of times around this time of year, so it's nothing new. Here's what I'll say. Just be organized. Be organized with, you know, if you've got a lot of things going on, just try your best to make a list, check it twice, you know, just try to be organized. And if you do have travel plans around this time of year, you know, Mercury retrograde can sometimes be 
famous for creating travel problems and travel delays. Just kind of check ahead, you know, check your flights, check you've got all the things that you need to bring, get to the airport early, get to your train stop early, you know, just try to create a lot of organization around whatever travel plans you might have and then leave the rest, you know, there's only so much you can control. So pr try to practice patience and grace with whatever challenges or delays may come your way. There's only so much we can control. So go into it um, with the best, you know, intentions and the best positive mindset, but you know, there's only so much we can control. Also, I want to offer you something. I, I mentioned kind of this energy around Mercury retrograde a lot, but if you're new here, um, and also I've kind of, I'm going to frame it in a little different way. So if you've heard this before, this is a different way to look at it. Mercury retrograde, Mercury is the planet of communication. So when it goes retrograde, yes, we on the surface level, we can experience miscommunications. We can experience foggy thoughts, indecisiveness. We don't have all the information sometimes. And so that can create, you know, this indecisiveness, not sure what to do, not sure how to think or feel about something. You know, there's miscommunications, right? That's happening on the surface. On subtler levels, Mercury as a planet of communication, when it enters retrograde, becomes a master at the subtler forms of communication. So while our five senses, ways that we communicate, might not work as effectively, our subtler senses, our sixth senses and beyond, you know, our dreams, our intuition, that gut feeling, that instinct, our empathic skills, our ability to feel into energy, they all become heightened. So yes, on the surface level, Mercury is known as a little bit of the trickster. It rules over communication, but also travel and organization and our mental processes. And all those things on the surface can seem a little bit haywire. But on a deeper level, we are more in tune. We're becoming more in tune and more connected to our subtler senses, to more subtler forms of communication, to our psychic senses and to our intuition. So that is where we want to vibrate at. We want to kind of get out of the chaos of that surface level and into that deeper, more heart opened, um, more heart aware, sort of uh, intuitive vibration that is offered to us under this Mercury retrograde and all Mercury retrogrades. This Mercury retrograde in particular hold incredible energy for really channeling into our intuitive and psychic abilities. So I would say more than ever, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to those nagging feelings or that however your intuition shows up for you, try to pay attention to it more than you maybe would normally because it's going to be very, very strong and very pronounced under this Mercury retrograde. And if maybe you're new to this journey and you're not quite sure how your intuition speaks to you or you want to learn how to listen to your intuition better, this would be a good time to start that practice, to start to really become aware of how you're feeling, what messages are coming through. You might not have all the facts, but you just have a feeling or have a knowing or you hear something or you sense something, really paying attention to those subtler forms of communication under this Mercury retrograde. And then finally, to wrap up all of the energy of this week, we have that 1212 gateway or that 1212 number code that we get every year on the 12th day of the 12th month. 1212 is a number, how many times can I say 12? 12 is a number of understanding it's completion, it's wholeness, it's having the whole picture. It's a number of kind of conclusion and resolution. So where can you use some of this energy in your life? Channel it on this day to where you want it to go, that feeling of understanding, wholeness and completion. 12, there are 12 signs of the zodiac, there are 12 months in the year, and it's only when we move through all signs of the zodiac all months of the year that we can have a complete picture of that journey of that uh, you know trip around the sun so it's that that gives us the awareness so where can you channel that awareness and that idea of completion and wholeness 
maybe you might also find some answers come your way on this day that you're able to understand the bigger picture with a little bit more ease maybe you might even notice signs and clues from the universe that something is ready to be completed or brought full circle if you see 12 12 a lot on the clock and even on this 12 12 day it's also a sign that you're ascending to a higher level of vibration to a higher level of consciousness so that's another another meaning attached to 12 12 that you're kind of graduating and getting ready to move to that next level of your conscious awareness so big energies this week We've got, you know, that last new moon of the year. We have the last Mercury retrograde of the year. Mercury will be retrograde all the way through until I think the first week of January. So, you know, that energy is there to stay. But that beautiful last new moon of the year, it's really a nice one. It really is going to give us a boost on our healing journey. It's so supportive for crafting intentions for the end of the year and it's also got this wonderful adventurous spirit so i hope you're able to make the most of all of these energies don't forget you can find more plus a new moon ritual over at foreverconscious.com if you want to make the most of that energy uh, plus your moon calendars for 2024 are still available i have a link in the description box below and if you want to join me in utah at the nourish and renewal retreat i think there are five spots left i'll also drop a link in the description box below if you want to check that out all right i'm tanaz from foreverconscious.com thank you so much